Hi, welcome to the channel. Recently I've been looking for a photo editor for the Mac and we all know that the photo editor which dominates the industry is Adobe's Lightroom. Unfortunately, since 2013, Adobe has required a subscription of around 119 USD a year to use their software. Now I thought the subscription service was really not a great value. They don't have any incentive to improve the program or to improve their software and yet you still have to pay the 119 USD a year. So I was in the market for an alternative. I was able to come across this photo editing software for the Mac called Pixelmator Pro. So Pixelmator Pro is around 37 USD and that's one third the price of an annual subscription of Lightroom. Now, what I wanna do today is just talk about five features of Pixelmator Pro, which I think make it worthy of consideration as your photo editor of choice for the Mac if you don't want to pay that subscription for Lightroom. So let's get right into this. So for number one, let me talk about ML Enhance. Pixelmator Pro uses machine learning to deliver more intelligent image editing. In case you didn't know, machine learning is this very popular technology. Now it's built into every smartphone and more and more softwares are using it. And so for Pixelmator Pro, they use it to help their tools make better decisions on how to edit the image. What they did was they trained their software on 20 million images to allow it to learn how to do proper editing. Okay, so let's just see whether how it works and whether, whether it works. So right now I'm in Pixelmator. So I have the tools panel here on the right side and you can see this image has a very bad color cast, no? very yellow color cast. Probably the setting of my camera was all wrong. And so ML Enhance basically is like a magic wand um, in other softwares, no? which will do the same thing. So it has this, there's this button here called ML Enhance. All you have to do is click it like a magic wand. So it just, so it says here that basically if you click this button, it'll automatically enhance the white balance, lightness, hue and saturation, and individual color ranges in the image. And so that's a lot of things that it's gonna adjust. Okay, or try to make a decision on. So if I click on this button, you can see how, that it nicely adjusted the colors of the image, right? Remove that yellow cast and it has that pleasing look. Now, if you don't like this look, of course, you can adjust the sliders further. Um, and if you don't like how it did the adjustment on certain aspects of this image, like let's say you did like how it did the white balance, you can just un uncheck the ML like so and then it will return back to the previous so you can apply this ml enhance on individual aspects whether it's white balance hue and saturation or if you're lazy like me you just apply it to the whole image okay so i think that's a pretty uh cool feature you can see the before and the after so if you want to look at it uh, let's try it on another image okay so here we have a severely underexposed photo I like the colors, I like the look, but uh, again, it'll take some time to edit this. But if you're lazy or in a hurry, you just want to rely on ML Enhance. So let's see whether the image will look good, okay, or satisfactory after this. So we'll click on the ML Enhance button again. And you can see that it removed the cast and removed the exposure, uh, adjusted the exposure and shadows and the like, right? And you can see all the adjustments here. Okay, so you can see here from the panel the, the minor adjustments it made, the decisions it made based on its machine learning algorithm. Okay, so I think it did a really great job. Okay, so it's just the original and this is the adjusted version. So moving on, the second useful feature I found with Pixelmator Pro is its ability to do raw editing. Now, you know, if you're into photography, that raw format is essential when you want the best possible quality and the best ability to recover highlights and shadows. Now the old Pixelmator could never do raw editing and in Lightroom, even though the Lightroom app is free to use in the iPad or the iPhone, um, it doesn't allow you to do raw editing. Okay, so here we have a raw image and you can see that um, this was taken with my Sony a7S and you can see that there's a raw indicator here to show you that it is indeed raw. And so you can see that these tools will all work with this image. It will edit the raw file and will give you the maximum ability to adjust the highlights and shadows or recover detail. 
from the shadows and highlights so you can see that so if I click on let's say ML enhance again okay so you can see that it removed the the cast here and you can see that uh, if I adjust let's say the shadows because it's a raw file I will have be better ability to you know, recover the shadows in the highlights without more noise and not losing the detail okay moving on to number three feature the individual color adjustments the first thing I look for in a photo editor is the ability to adjust individual colors Lightroom has great interface for doing this and uh, the nice thing with Pixelmator Pro is they sort of imitated the interface and the functionality and it works so let's just demonstrate here we have a photo so let's say we want to adjust um, individual colors right so we just go down here to selective color okay, and basically it has this panel which looks exactly like Lightroom's uh, interface so let's say I want to adjust the greens here I want to reduce the saturation there you can do that see it will just reduce the saturation there okay and then if you want to let's say make the blues a bit more intense let's say the saturation of the blues more you can see that so it works on these individual colors or maybe the yellows I want to make that a bit more prominent there you can do so you can see how you can control the look and feel of your image with these individual colors and Lightroom has has been doing has this feature for a long time and it I'm glad that this has been integrated into Pixelmator Pro okay so number four feature which are the selections and repair tools which I think are the more important are super useful tools when you're doing image editing so first the repair tool basically allows you to magically remove objects recreating image areas with stunning realism uh, Pixelmator the original Pixelmator became famous for this repair tool and it was copied by you know, every other image editor uh, but again it's nice to know that they still have it and it still works so let's just uh, let's just use this image here so let's say I want to remove this uh, this person that learning curve the individual color adjustment is exactly like Lightroom's Lightroom's interface um, the way you adjust the exposure you know the lightness with exposure highlight shadows is the same look of Lightroom as well so somebody coming from Lightroom who wants to use their interface I think will have no problems I certainly didn't have any problems now another thing I like uh, with regards to their interface why I find it really simple is this this use of the single window with tabs okay so if you notice as I open a new image you can see that it's basically in a tab form okay so um, what's nice about this is 
you don't have to navigate to different windows whenever you want to go to another photo. But this is something we're all familiar with because they obviously copied the way a browser works. Okay. And uh, the old Pixel Mater, you would have to have new windows every time you open. It's a bit troublesome. You know, you have all these windows scattered around. Here it is a much cleaner implementation. So there you have it. Five features which make Pixel Mater a great Lightroom replacement for the Mac. But you may agree or disagree. I'd like to hear your opinion. And so if you like more of these videos, please consider liking the video or maybe subscribing. And till the next time, happy shooting.